In this video, we're going to dive into Subnautica to learn about density and buoyancy. Density is how tightly packed a substance is. So whether it's a liquid, a gas, or even a solid, it's how close together the particles are in a given volume. So density is mass per unit volume. Check it out. This boulder seems to be floating, right? We have these cool uh, floaters that help it float that we can put on and off of it to help it float. Now, right now, it's kind of neutrally buoyant. It's in the middle. I want to get another floater to see if I can uh, get it to float to the surface. I'm grab that there. All right, got another one on there. So it's floating a little bit more to the surface. Now, if something is floating, it is less dense than the surrounding fluid. In this case, the surrounding fluid is the water. And if I take the floaters off, it becomes more dense and it sinks. If I put the floaters back on, we can again make it less dense and it should float back up. Are we there yet? Not quite. So the overall density now is less dense. I'll give a little nudge to push it back up. Come on. Come on. And now it's floating again. I can probably push it all the way up to the surface I wanted to. It's almost the same density as the water. Let's grab another one of these floaters that I'd stuck on here previously and get this thing to float up to the surface because it's less dense. So we can make this boulder less dense than the fluid and get it to float. And this applies for everything in fluids, whether that fluid is an air or a liquid, that it's a comparative density. If it's less dense, it floats, and more dense, it sinks. And in fact, you ever hear the term just the tip of the iceberg? Well, this is what it is. Only the top part is actually going to be out of the water. Most of it's underwater. Now, the density of salt water is actually greater than that of fresh water. Fresh water, you know, regular water without the salt, has a density of one gram per milliliter, one gram per centimeter cubed. So let's take a look at what happens when we have densities that are different and how much is floating in or out of the water. Let's take a look. All right, so for looking up here, we can see that if it has a density of 0.75, then 75% of it will be submerged. If it has a density of or 0.9, then 90% of it will be submerged. Right? And only 10% of it will be out of the water. Now, how can we actually find the density of something? Like a rock, or if it's a regularly shaped object. Let's take a look. To find density, you need to find the mass and the volume. You can find the mass using a balance or scale. You find the volume of regularly shaped objects and irregularly shaped objects. A regularly shaped object, you can use an equation like volume equals length times width times height to find it using a ruler. For an irregularly shaped object, we use the liquid displacement method. In this case, we'll take this rock and we have a graduated cylinder with some colored water in it and it starts off at 20 milliliters. Place the object we're going to measure into it. The water goes up because it's displaced. And this time it goes up to 23 milliliters. And now if we take the 23, we subtract 20 from it, what was at the beginning, we end up with 3 milliliters. And that was the volume of the object. And then we can use an equation like density equals mass divided by volume to calculate the density. Now in this case, 
we have what is called a buoyant force pushing up on this boulder. The buoyant force is greater than the weight. Now, if we, we increase the density, we can get it to start to sink. Now, the weight is greater than the buoyant force. With the weight being greater than the buoyant force, we have an unbalanced force. And now it starts to sink. If we make it neutrally buoyant, I can add a floater on here. It'll stop sinking and it'll stop going to the surface because we have equal forces on the top pushing down and from the underneath pushing up. Now the amount of buoyant force is equal to the weight of the fluid that is displaced by the object. So this boulder is pushing water out of the way and the amount of water that it pushes out of way is equal to the force pushing up. So if something pushes more water out of the way, then it's going to have more buoyant force. And this is how big heavy metal ships can float because they displace so much water that they push up with a great buoyant force to keep them afloat. Archimedes came up with this idea in ancient Greece that the weight that is displaced is equal to that buoyant force pushing up. Archimedes principle. Thanks for joining me in this video and learning about density and buoyancy.